I found a study group that is actually like top of the class for cultural anthropology. Scissors, scissors. Rock. Um, yep. I think it's big. Alright, sounds good. Let's see how this goes. This is an interesting hand. Um, uh, this is not the best, however, it's not the worst. I feel like I can work with this? Sure. So you're taking the play, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Very good sense of the wild type. I'm going to go there. Snow Mountain, go. Uh, cycle. Yep. Okay, now I have a feeling I know what. Uh, and so, here's Cycle again, thing to like. Tap up, keep sure. From that, I. Drones got some? Yep. Cycle? Yep. Um, go, Dick. Sure. You're okay, baby. Go for it. Go, Dick. During a draw phase, I'll be within your snooker or not. Sure. And then I get to do. Yeah, I got to. Yep. Thanks. So I will play another snake of the world. That's done. There's a date token. There you go. Yes. How's it going, Trent? It's going really well. How are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm sick, but. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'll be fine. Good, dude. Well, you got, you got a bunch of snow coverage. Yeah. In your draft phase, it's... Uh, this is easy. Yeah. Sure. Oh, lordy. Is this uh, like you can see where this is going. Yeah. It looks like you're just playing some sort of Ponza. Some sort. Almost like it's a Ponza sort of Ponza. How's KCI going, Trent? Eh, not building it anymore. I'm yeah. focusing on uh, black, green, and factors. Black, green? Yeah, I feel like it's really. I feel like you get a lot of support in black green. Yeah, no, um, I, I, my friend has this. Are you done, Tux? I'm a big fan of Phyrexian Crusader. Oh, so it's my turn. <laughs> Sorry, I lost track of Especially the against Jeff's control. Yeah. And the what? Uh, in return, I'll eat you two um, snow covers. Just my combo. Oh, jeez. Oh, the, the, one, the ones in your yard. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, I, I've never seen that card before, so. Oh! Okay, no, I know exactly what you're playing. Dread one of those. <laughs> Cascade. Okay, now I know where this is going. Where's it going? What's living gonna end? hit? Huh? Living end? A hundred percent. With all the cycle cards, there's no way it's not living end. Uh, what do you think of the as for told version? I know. Like I understand it's a different um, approach to it. Exactly, but I think it's as consistent or it's explosive. Yeah. I think it's just people needing an excuse to play um Ancestral Recall. Yeah. And like, if you don't get as foretold, there's no way you can really go off. You mean ancestral vision? Yeah, ancestral my bed. <laughs> and then I go no this one, and then that goes on bottom. Is it in a random order, or is it in any order? Random order. Oh, okay. And then we exile our creatures on battle. Okay. And we exile cards from our graveyard. When is all Then we put them. Oh jeez. And then you're oh, building a graveyard. Yep. And we go there. Chicken, yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, but this is more of a budget version of living in. What are you missing? Uh, yeah, I think you got it. I just got flooded for days. Copper line gorges. Gotcha. I have pulmonary mages, but I'm playing. Um... Do you have the hand hate? Nice. Hand hate. Yeah. So like thought seizes, IOKs. You can't play those. You don't want cascade into them. You're right. Like that's why anything under um. I'm that's, sorry, that's I why, That's why a sideboard is specifically geared towards it, not being yeah. under three. But you know, you have ways around it. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you can take the play tags. Yes, and we're sideboarding? Yes. Okay. Do you want to show Trent the deck you're playing? Oh, sure. Oh, I, I, I see snow cupboards. Yeah. <laughs> is it the dragon's list? Dragon's yes. list. Cool. I saw Sarkin as well. Sarkin. I, I love that version of it. Yeah, it is. 
It's real spicy. Right. Very. If Doug is eating snow covered, I picked up um, Infinite Frontiers has a bunch of uh, cold snap stars. Nice. Well, there's really, it, it, the deck's already complete. I have 22 yeah. in there and the two um, scrying sheets. So. Oh, he was looking about building it himself. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was showing him what it was on the Yeah, you I'm going to go ahead and start packing up over and head it over to Game Club. No, so if you guys want to join, that would be awesome to see you there. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, Trent. Uh, you have a good day. Are you going to be great? Yeah. That probably. Um, to think about the matchup. So, I like that just because it deals with his dragons if I can get to it. Um, it's probably going to be the best cycler. Assuming all goes wrong, that is. Okay. Just don't care about it. Can you do me a quick favor? Just make sure you don't stuff. I'll be right back. Yep, it's fine. I feel like maybe this package is fine, but I can't think of what I'm else. I'm not for sure. Some cards are fine from your side, but... I can think of two. Are you taking play card questions? Yes, I think those are the So it's just a race at this point? Yes. I'm just going to go like that. Okay. And then what package comes out? Not that big. Dead Lights packages. This is very good here. It's the real question. So these are actually decent. That's decent. Is that even good? Mm -hmm. Just gonna go like. You thought you were gonna be Dragon Scar? Yeah. That's fine. Do this because I'm, I'm slow. Can you tell Brandon he still doesn't play that? No, I haven't yet. Oh, you should. I don't see him very often anymore. Well, it's kind of hard to believe. Well, it's kind of hard to miss him. It's just I'm not in here as often as I am. I'm over in SWL, so that's why I'm saying I don't see him. I'm just not in the same room at the same time most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that package might help a little bit. He's thankful. It is. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's like if I do get into a D and D campaign, I'll try and make it the Ravnica one, just so I have an excuse to read the Ravnica book. Unless you get more lore. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you find some stuff at the next. Day. Yeah, that's what I'm. Killed but. I think it's Ravnica Alliance or something like that, or is that the third set? I don't remember what it is. I'm not sure. Check and see it. Well, at the least it was Friday, Friday, this weekend. Yep. Yeah, this is... <laughs> yes, I did. Without way too much time. Luckily, these are very nicely sleeved and they're obvious to see. I wonder if really casual player and didn't see anything because I was... Uh -huh. I had some actually like expensive... Is that me or something? This pile is cool. uh, Making sure I didn't drop the dice, I think. I think that's yours? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't be mine because I left my magic stuff at home. 
Spiel fahren kannst. Nochmal Chip, der ist auf dem Team hier. Ja, das ist Team, so gut. Thanks. Das ist my first like sacred foundry that I had. It wasn't sleeved in and I had a Pyro Master back when she was expensive. And immediately upon seeing that like pants and teabag jade were like, you need to go get sleeves. Oh. They, even if they're penny sleeves, go get sleeves now. And I'm like, okay, okay fine. Because <laughs> at the time, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I'll keep this. So, no, oh, yeah, Go to it. something else. Go for it. 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 Go for Put that back over there, like you said. Good luck. Sure. Go, let's go. Shh. That is the gangness. Yep. One move. Uh, I'll spawn. Send me a move in the So... Violent gank first. So far the fire has been. Dank. You just got it off in this one. Yep, that'll. No, she wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yep, the one was also. So yep. he has no targets. <laughs> Ten targets. Yep. Yeah, you can get that one. Have we gotten him? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Torture points? Sure. That makes me very happy. A little plus one? First plus one. Does. Yes. It's a two two? Yep. Sure. Okay. Harambe. Two at Chandra. Yep. Good. Chandra versus Harambe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Yeah. Oh, that's dank. Can I start there? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead and rummage. Yep. Go for it. Yeah. Go Go ahead and spread around it. Go there. Go ahead and plus my little over here. Two. Yeah. Go ahead and rummage. Discard. Go. Um, Go ahead. Okay, ratchet bomb. Yep. Go for it. Go. Sure. That's good. Um, let's 
go ahead and push on it. Yep. She's doing work over here. Um, go ahead and rummage. Yep. He's at sex. Um, so we will discard. They're having one, two, three way. <laughs> <laughs> and Doug's in the middle. Yep, Doug's in the middle. Actually, Doug's on the bottom. Ha ha ha, yep. And then. That's it. Top one of my mountains, sure. Uh, I will go ahead and spread this one. Good looks. One tap. Go ahead and rummage first. So. Okay, that's pretty hot. Thunder break focus. And tap this to put a counter on it. Counters everywhere. Note to self, make sure I have plenty of dice for this deck box. <laughs> Casting it through? Yep. Destroy the record bomb. That's dank. Go. Sure. One tap. Draw this bitch. Let's go ahead. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I'm going to just keep rummaging here. Sure. So it's discard, draw this bitch. That's what. Well, I. I get the opportunity to do so, I'm gonna final, final her. <laughs> because you don't get to do that very often. I get them to huh. it, it's you whenever you the whenever I cast a spell. Oh, okay, that was a common card in her phone because they picked up my head. Yep. So let's go ahead. Spread it and get short. Take five, right? Take five. And this came in last turn, right? Yes. Okay. So, four. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Game three. I'll take the play. Sounds good. I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment here. I can only imagine that he would save if I got him with a blood moon. You probably can find it. I don't doubt that. Okay. I like what this is going. Yep. It's a keep. Double cycle. Okay. Two weeks. It's going to be right after the Good luck. Snow cover into a relic of the generous. And go for it. Where's good luck? You draw a phase off the top of the top. 
Yep. So then, anyway, we're going to play. What? Huh? You look at it? Work there, but I have a class there in two hours, twice a week. And that's where meditation is. In the board. In the board. Yep. Good hooks. Yeah, I can play. So I will go ahead and make up a few of the I'm going to go ahead and play Morton. Foreman? Sure. And then go for it. Go to your two turns. Game four. Yep. Good words. Sure. Top. Go ahead. Lift turn. Into. I think we just want to go. So don't do that yet. Let's play something. Yep. Um. And I'm just going to leave him as he is for right now. You know it's a melee ability, not your turn. Okay, so I, yeah, I forgot that part. So I'll just plus, but not, but not damage. Pass legs? Pass. Yep. Every turn I'll slide. Yep. Turn two. Now play red, cycle again. Yep. 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 Sure. 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 I'm just making sure I read everything. So I will add two mana. Yep. Make it double red. And we'll just say that's double red. Yep. So two, one, two, three. Stronger. Yep. And then I do what this deck likes to do and beat off. Yep. We'll find that living end. There's the living end. So we exile cards from our graveyard from the game. Yep. Oh, creatures might be. Okay. So, so just exile creatures. Cards. Yep. And then we exile all cards. We can sacrifice all creatures we control. Okay. And now we put all cards exiled this way until that was. So, yep. Okay, gotcha. We've got a boy state. Cool. Yep. It's going to hurt like hell. <laughs> Five at Sarkon and then six to twelve at you. Ow! I'll take it. You get it. Ow! And uh, Sarkon does. Yep. Good turn. Good switch. And. That's a lot of dudes. Not really much I can do, can I? Um, I'm gonna play it out. I'm not gonna be flaccid. I have to make a board. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, go for it. I just had mountains stacked on top of each other. <laughs> uh, so back road red. Mark red. I'll take three. He can't block his turn. Yep. I'll cascade. I'm going to choose not to cast the living end this turn. Okay. There we go. So I'll choose not to cast it. Maybe it stays in my exile. I'm yeah. not sure. It doesn't matter because it's a leap on the end of the game. Yep, you got me. You've totally got me at this point. But, yeah. And then, yeah, go for the evil. Yep, you got me. <laughs> I had burn for days. So, um, in your, um, so then we start doing, like, talk about match. What, so if my experience playing against your deck tugs, I just had to race Blood Moon. 
Yes. You Obviously, have to like game two, had I fetched just one basic because I had two demonic dreads, yes. I could have um, gotten Got there. Yes. But um, Bloodwind just beat me, mm -hmm. and because by that time I had two, um, yeah. what's it called, Beast Withins. Right. To a point where I could have popped your Bloodwind, but no forest. Mm -hmm. So that so, thing for you, best thing I can say is just get Blood Moon out as fast as possible yes. and hang on the, to your spread. This, this matchup turns into a two phase game. Phase one, land a Blood Moon. Phase two, spread. S spread. Spread any threats. Spread any threats, land a threats of my own, and just basically turn into what I do for Geist. Keep up your removal and then just beat phase. Mm -hmm. So it, it plays very similar to. Lead to Geist in that regard, you just have the extra phase of the stabilize the blood. Yes. Um, for me, I just had to have mana and race the blood moon right. or just play around it. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I could go off turn two, which I tried to, but you know, I only had one creature out of it. Right. Wasn't the best one, but it was, did give me something, you know, you killed it. Yes. However, Scred's the only deck I think of that has good spot removal for Living End mm -hmm. and being Scred. Yes, Scred that, is. You know, like, you know, when you Scred's pop for 5-6, there's nothing this, that deck can't kill. Mm -hmm. Or I the, just, that deck can't kill yep. for I just didn't have any Scred's in hand, I was stuck with... I only put one, I can only put one, yeah. Okay. So, I expect to be playing, like, Relics. Yep. And so that's why Relics are even, like, Damping Sphere, because that does slow us down. Mm -hmm. So I had Ingot Chewers. I expected you know a lot of um, beat down, so yep. bring the ball. Bring the ball's good. Beast within, just pop anything, your know, artifacts yep. or your, even slow you down, hit your lands like I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, planeswalker, it hits everything. That's what yeah. I see. Yeah, it's very versatile. Shrieking watch, just because when you do get your um, dragons out, I can just kill them, and then living end comes back again. Mm -hmm. Works out. So I take out um, hor a horror just because I can't rely on black on turn one. Right. As easily anymore. Because and the Combra's just because... The double I'm block. Not, I'm not, no, I'm not worried about your graveyard anymore. Yeah. So there's right. no reason to have graveyard hate. Also the fact that you were just playing it as a creature with the double block. Yeah, exactly. It get awkward. I did Relics, and because I'm on the Mana Denial plan, I did the Molten Rain. I should have also brought in the Dampening Spheres, because yeah. as we discussed... Or Hordling Hopper, so oh. I don't um, Beast Within on your turn. Yes. Then I took out... Because what I saw in game one was lots of war toughness stuff, mm -hmm. and I have Scred, I boarded out the Angers. And one Glorybringer, because I feel like... I feel like Eager would have been good, because there are some creatures still hits, but um, if you have to, and I've done it against KCI against Worm Coils, it's double Anger. Double, or okay. you get both of them, and then Anger. That is a relevant point, yes. And you know, Exile is not... Which is, a, which is actually really... Extremely crucial in this. Yes, it is. Um, my sideboard has two slaughters, which I guess I could open, but I'm not going to name much, just because you have so many win cons, three mm -hmm. dragons, three different dragons, and the two planeswalkers. Yep. That's not going to do too much. I, mean, I kind of got information at the least. Three ingots. Gotcha. I could have played Ricochet Trap, but to play four mana to um, redirect the spread or anything would, yep. would have been a good idea, because yeah, when I got Blood Moon locked, that could have gave me something. Right. I have Raven's Traps, but now you say you have Graveyard. Mm -hmm. The one Shriek wanted to come in, the one Beast thing, I have three Burning Boards. So. Yep. Gotcha. So, the um, only thing I will have changed is probably throwing in a Ricochet Trap or two. Okay, gotcha. Then I should have brought those in. Yeah. And kept my angles in. Maybe, um, I was putting the little, maybe three angles probably, because you need that card. Right. And, um, the Maybe over the moment? Defense Grids. Ooh. Because that way, I can't. Be, uh, that way, it's expensive beast on your turn, and I can't. Yeah, it I can't. Um, combo off. Yeah, on your turn, because then it costs five, and yeah, then two more because to cast. I've noticed that you tended to combo off on my turn when you got the opportunity to. Yeah. Which is something. Not having played against yeah, living these in. Really aren't. Yeah, having not played okay. against living in that much. I guess you could have tried dragon claw. Yeah. Gain one off my cascade spells and off your own, yep. just give me more. Great. The thing is, we just create, put so much power on the board that it's right. not it's, too relevant. It's like, would I rather be gaining life slowly, incrementally, or just killing you with dragons? Mm -hmm. And after I've Blood Moon locked you. These were all considerations that I did think about. What did you say that? Um, what did I say that? When I, I did that, 
and one glory bringer. Mm -hmm. I would kill glory bringer because you know he four he damage kills a lot. For them, also it has haste, and it, in this matchup you're trying to kill them quickly because um, if you dirtle too long, they will find another. For sure, what I want to board up is for the Draconic Roars, just because they're basically dead here. Not completely, but they're but, not as good, and you know you always set out your cards that are mediocre. Yeah, and mediocre. it's like to be fair. Would I rather do that or have kept my angers in and uh, drawn an angle? There's four Draconics and I will have taken all four out. Okay. Throw in two spheres and maybe the extra anger. Two spheres. And, and then I was... For sure, Rain. Yeah, for sure you need the relative. Yep. Well. So, like that package? No, uh, maybe... I think what else that deck has. So those will come out. You do need your blood moons. Probably the ratchet bomb just because there's nothing it's going to really hit. Yeah. Because I mean, all these creatures like like five, six. Like honestly, if you're putting at five, you probably lost. Right. Yeah, five is probably where most of this is at. So. But you know, like the Ceridon, that six. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, a lot of this is at five, except Macombra, but you know, I have not tried four, okay. but he's sacrificing himself. So like that is what you would have done. Six, and I probably left. Maybe found a, a way to put one or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to Maybe think. even like the fourth ender. Thing that I can possibly consider. For sure, I want to put in the fourth ender. Maybe over is fence. Thunder, is Thunderbreak good? In yes, I, yeah, I probably saw one or two just because. They don't. You don't have a lot of removal that's going to be removal. targeting my exactly. dragons. As so, as I mean, just sack it. and also we doesn't have haste, and exactly. in a matchup where time is critical. You, you need that haste. Yeah. Even though he does drop a turn earlier. You'd rather be dropping Chandra on turn four. Exactly. Because <laughs> as we saw, she does things. Okay. So you want to give him Chandra to say how that make you feel so? Makes me feel dank. That's great. Oh well.